if you are a spicy creator and you are not doing this, you're playing yourself. Because most businesses online are all, always trying to get their clients or their target audiences information. You always see, oh, um, I'll give you this free download if you do this. Always, always doing it. As spicy creators, I don't really see anybody doing that. I don't see anybody doing it. And um, we need to. You got to, sis. Because censorship or the censorship, as I like to say, it is really making being a spicy creator really hard. It, um, I remember, <laughs> remember, like, when they first started wiping out pages, like, I was in this group of foot fetish models, and our pages were getting wiped out like crazy. Like, I know girls who've had well over 20, 30 pages. Me, I probably only had, like, five. Like, I was like, y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. Because, like, we would build up each other's pages really quick, and it just, whew, and remember, this is feet. This is just feet. This is just feet. Me, I would, I would wear heels and still get deleted. So, um, as a spicy creator, like, me personally, my links are not going to be out, right? It's like, people think, like, just put your links everywhere, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's a way to do it. Yes, that's a way to do it. But if people are willing to give you your information, they're more invested in you. They trust you more already. And that client retention or customer retention, I feel like it's going to it's going to be a lot longer um, and a lot higher, I should say. So build like e either way, you need to be building your um your community. You need people. People need to know your personality. Like when people know your personality, they're more invested in you. And of course, they're going to support your content, but they want to really support you as a person. Your brand is, is great, but you as a person and when they feel connected to you, when they have um when they have some memories that they can look back with you, that's going to make them want to stay longer, right? That's going to want to make them want to spend with you because honestly, I have the same parts any other female does and they can get it from anywhere, you know? Like I, I have a certain look, but there's a lot of girls who look similar to me. So what 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 makes me special, right? Like if we're talking about the, the consumer. So if we're, if, if we're making sure that we're making content engaging with our community um doing different fun stuff with them they're coming for you and they're gonna stay for you so aside from that like i would make i am making more fun content con connecting with them and like i've already had a fan base for a while so the trust is there but like the new people that i am reaching um I have to build that trust with them too they don't know me you know what i'm saying like all these new platforms i'm they, they have no idea who i am so I, like I said, I personally won't be plastering my link everywhere. You're going to have to give me your information. You know what I'm saying? And I even joked around with my fan base saying like, I know some of y'all have girlfriends. I know some of y'all have girlfriends. So, you know, I'm not going to, um, cause I, I asked for their phone number now. Cause after that email scare with the horror story, story with Snapchat de getting deleted and then like 20, 30% not even opening an email when I'm trying to, anyway, I'm texting you. But I was like, y'all, I promise it will never be anything that'll get you in trouble. Like, I will make sure, like, I'm like, hey, your your Under Armour package is on the way. Um, click this link to confirm your package. Or <laughs> it'll be something like that. Or your Wild Bee Under Armour, whatever edition. You know, so, something like that to make sure that I'm not getting anybody in trouble. Um, because if a girl saw that, she's not going, I wouldn't click on it, you know? So, um, the, cen the censorship is scary guys, um, because it's, it, it's not just, I feel like the mainstream content creators are, are feeling it, you know, um, as far as the censorship, but if you've been a spicy creator for a while, it, that's nothing new, but it, they have started cracking down on it way, way more. So collect, make sure you're collecting the information from your, from your people, 
um, build that rapport so that they do feel comfortable and then respect their privacy, respect the data that they give you and don't spam them. Don't send them anything inappropriate unless you ask permission. And, um, you know, it could be some something simple like, am I okay to text you? spicy things like it can just be a little opt-in however you want to do it i personally won't be sending anything um crazy to anybody phone i want that to stay inside of behind a paywall because it also keeps my stuff as exclusive as possible and when you are super exclusive you can pay more that price tag the val the perceived value of it goes up so yeah that's how i'm marking out on um uh my fight against censor shit um it, it, it's gonna help it's gonna help if you're if you know how to pivot it's gonna help you because then all your stuff isn't gonna be out on the internet which i've seen a girl set their phone on high for like ten dollars and that's okay that's okay that's okay but i think you could have got more but that's just me i for one will not be saying <laughs> a lot but ten dollars oh i will but it's going to help us just, just just find different ways of promoting yourself. I am going to actually, I'm putting it all together. I'm really excited. I want to actually do a, like a sit down interview with some really dope creators who are more on the business end of it. Well, as a spicy creator, you have to be on both ends, even if you don't want to. Your, it'll show if you are just, or if you're not on the business end, it'll show. Um, because even if you are making great money and you're not super or you're not really running it as a business, I guarantee you, if you start to implement a few things and start to run it as a business, if you're making money already, it's just going to through the roof. So I've seen a lot of these podcasts where they have girls on and they're just dogging the girls out, mainly male brand podcast where they're bringing on these spicy creators really just to insult them and i i can't even stomach watching that shit so for me i want to do a little spin on it and i want to invite some girls um to come and speak to me about the business and because a lot of these women are high performing high earning women and it's not on accident. And I think it'd be really cool to see the business end or, you know, a little peek behind, you know, the the actual production and see what goes on and what, what goes on in their mind. And I think that'd be really interesting and just a different dynamic to show.